Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting international craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have one here that's going to be killer. No doubt about it. From the Einger Brauerei, located in Ein, Germany. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Yeah, this is the Bavarian Pilsner. And it checks in at 5.1% alcohol by volume. I can't quite decode this date on the back. It's not a Julian date, so I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, if it is what I think it could be, excuse me, uh, the beer would be 58 days old. So I'm not going to really worry about it all that much because a Pilsner and a Lager style, they, they don't go bad as quickly as an IPA. I got the Susan B. Anthony Dolly, which I place on top of the bottle cap. This way, when I open the beer, there are no dents, no muss, and no fuss. And that way, I can put this on my refrigerator with a magnet, and it looks quite lovely. I do have some glassware for this, but unfortunately, it is a two-liter glass. Uh, for those of you who are, are uh, challenged in converting from ounces to uh, liters, uh, that's around 34 ounces. Just a little bit shy of 34 ounces. So, yeah, this is only 11.2 ounces. This is 330 milliliter. So it wouldn't look quite right in that big glass. So what I'm using here is a traditional style Pilsner glass. This is a super light pale golden ale. It's made a small amount of foam there. It's a nice bright white head. It's got scant amounts of carbonation flowing up from the bottom. Now, if I had poured this violently straight in, it would have more carbonation and it would have made a lot more foam, but we don't want foam from here up to the top, so that's why I poured it the way I did. Let's see what kind of aroma this produces. Ah, lovely floral hops in there. Grainy and a little spicy, which is typical of a Pilsner from Bavaria, no doubt. All right, before I drink this, i got to thank the brewers there in Germany at Einger. Oh, man. they Those guys over there, they know how to brew beer, don't they? They definitely can brew some beer. And I'm sure that after work, they enjoy all of their fruits of the labor. <laughs> hey, thank you to them. Thanks at home for watching. Cheers. Mmm, ma'am. Mmm, that's pretty good. Lip smacker. Yeah, you get the uh, you get the floral hops in there. It's pretty well balanced between the malt and the hop. Get a little bit of spiciness there on the finish. Just a slightly dry, bitter finish. Not not overly so at all. Mm -mm. But it's a, a very drinkable beer indeed. Mmm. Very uh, crisp and refreshing. Very crisp and refreshing. Now, it's the middle of winter here where I'm at, but this beer is refreshing any time of year. This would be especially good on the patio during the hot summer months when it's 90-plus uh, degrees Fahrenheit around this part. Mmm, this is very good indeed. A very light-bodied beer with light to medium carbonation and mouthfeel. It's not anything that's going to knock your soft, uh, socks off as far as a, a Pilsner style goes, but a Pilsner beer is supposed to be relatively light, relatively clear, easy to drink, and that's what this is. It fits the bill perfectly. All right, my friends, I'm going to run out of here because I got more beer to drink, no doubt about that. All right, stay safe in the world. Drink great craft beers like this one right here from Einger. Prost!